Hello guys and welcome back to another lecture. We will use Linux EC2 instances to host the website and apps in the projects we will complete. Even when you start working, most of the servers your company will use to host their apps will likely be Linux. So one of the skills you must learn as a cloud or DevOps engineer is Linux. In this lecture, I will share three short tutorials you can watch to practice the Linux command. This is the first tutorial you can watch to practice the Linux command. The title of the tutorial is Introduction to Linux and Basic Linux Command for Beginners. I'll leave the link to this tutorial in this video's description. This is the second tutorial you can watch to practice the Linux command, and the tutorial is called Top 20 Commands Every Linux User Must Know. This tutorial is also on YouTube, and I'll leave the link to this tutorial in this video's description. This is the third tutorial you can watch to practice the Linux command. This tutorial is also on YouTube and it is called Important Linux Commands for Beginners. I will leave the link to this tutorial in this video's description. Practicing these Linux commands will improve your understanding and prepare you for when we run commands like this to install our website. To practice these commands, all you have to do is launch an EC2 instance in the management console. For example, I have launched an EC2 instance in my management console. Once you've launched the EC2 instance in the management console, the next thing you will do is SSH into the EC2 instance. For example, I have SSH into the EC2 instance here. Once you have SSH into your EC2 instance, you can follow along with the tutorials by running your command in your SSH terminal. Any commands that is presented to you in these tutorials, you can run those commands in your SSH terminal. For example, if I type ls in here, I can run that command. That is a Linux command. If I type pwd and press enter, that is also a Linux command. I can run that command. So basically what I'm trying to say is any command that is presented in the tutorials, you can practice those commands in your SSH terminal for your EC2 instance. If you don't know how to launch an SSH into an EC2 instance, I'll leave a link in this video's description. Another thing I want to mention is when you are practicing these commands, please don't be afraid to make mistakes. You can always launch and terminate as many EC2 instances as you want, so don't be afraid to make mistakes. Also, don't forget to terminate your EC2 instance when you are done practicing the commands. I'll look for a good course you can take to learn about Linux, but for now, these tutorials will help you get started. If you have any questions or there's any part of this lecture you don't understand, please leave your comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.